Hey guys, so in this video, I just want to cover something that I discovered today while sitting in my kitchen. Um, and it relates to 2.4 GHz interference, especially due to appliances in my kitchen. Um, without much to say, I'm going to show you a demonstration of exactly what I mean uh, and what 2.4 GHz interference means. And later on, I'll explain why this is occurring and how you can get around to solving a 2.4 GHz interference if you experience a similar situation in your house. So I'm going to read a speed test um, to start off this video. So ping is 20 and my speed should be around 12 or 13 megabits per second uh, due to where I am in the house right now, my distance from the router. Okay, and my upload speed should be around 2 megabits per second, which it probably will be. Now, for the next step of the demonstration, what I'm going to do is, while I'm situated in the same area, I haven't moved my laptop at all, um, I'm going to turn my microwave on, and you'll see exactly what 2.4 GHz interference does to your internet signal, uh, and your ability to access websites and other content on the internet. So, I'm going to run the speed test again, and I'm just going to go turn my microwave on. And as you can see right now, um, the speed is dropping in almost instantaneously um, because my microwave is being uh, turned on. And if I go ahead and try to access any website at this point in time, let me try to access Google since Google is never down. You can see that I can't access it. Now let me go ahead and turn my microwave off and you'll see exactly um, what has happened. And bam, just like that, I'm able to access um, Google, as I should be. So why is this occurring? Um, well, the problem is that most of the appliances, such as a microwave, that are located in my kitchen run on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Um, they also emit radio waves that are in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, which, unfortunately, is the same spectrum as what our router emits um, signals at. So as a result, what happens is when my microwave is on, the signal that my router is emitting is scrambled by the signal that the microwave is emitting. And consequently, my computer is unable to access the internet because it cannot receive the signal that it needs. The signal that it needs is scrambled. And essentially, you know, it just won't, it just can't access the internet due to that reason. So one workaround, to, uh, one way to get around this problem is through purchasing a router that supports dual band frequencies. So dual band routers run at both 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz frequency. Um, an example of a dual band, dual band, uh, sorry, dual band router, uh, the one I'm using in particular is a WNDR 4000 by Netgear, um, which is a phenomenal router, um, one of their top end routers. And you can get it in about $134 or so. And the beauty of this router is that at the same time, it emits signal at both 2.4 GHz as well as a 5 GHz frequency. And since your microwave only uses a 2.4 GHz spectrum, the 5 GHz spectrum is essentially untouched by your microwave's, um, the radiation that your microwave emits. And as a result, um, you won't notice any interference on your end if you were connected at the 5 GHz spectrum. And unfortunately, at the moment, my 5 gigahertz spectrum has been acting up since I've loaded DDWRT um, onto this router. And there is some issues with the 5 gigahertz spectrum uh, with that firmware, particular firmware. But if you're running a stock, for, stock firmware, uh, if you were to switch over to the 5 gigahertz spectrum, what you just witnessed at the moment um, with my microwave being on um, would be non-existent. So that's one way to get around it. Another way to get around it is, you know, the greatest solution ever. Wire your, wire your house with a CAT5E or CAT6 cable. And as a result, you don't have to worry about any, um, you know, interference that might occur due to uh, appliances or other items in your household um, using the same frequency uh, as your router, wireless router. So I'm just going to show you another demonstration of what occurs 
when the microwave is on in my house. Um, so it ended up being around 2.20 megabits per second when the microwave was on. Okay, so I'm going to do this test again. And at the same time, I'm also going to ping google.com. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go to network utility. And you can see I'm connected to the 2.4 gigahertz line because the router is currently running at a link speed of 144 megabits per second. Uh, the 5 gigahertz line goes up to 300 megabits per second. So that's also another advantage of the 5 gigahertz line as you're able to transfer more data and stream high defi definition videos from your network at a much faster rate than you would be at the 2.4 gigahertz um, um, line. Unfortunately, one downside to the 5 gigahertz line is that its range is shorter. So there are downsides to using the 5 gigahertz line, but in my opinion, the, the benefits far outweigh the negative sides of the 5 gigahertz line. So anyways, I'm going to go to ping, and I'm going to ping google.com. And as you can see right now, the pings are going through fine. And at the same time, I'm going to run my speed test. And that's going to go fine as well. It's going to go back to 12, around there. And now I'm going to turn my microwave on. And you'll see something. My speed test results should drop quite dramatically. OK, so the microwave is on. Ah, unfortunately. I might have started the microwave a bit too late after the speed test started, so... Well, we'll just do the speed test again. But as you can see, my, my upload speed is, you know, is decreasing. And we have a request timeout. So it is unable to connect to Google server at that point in time. You can see my upload speed, it is struggling. It's not going to finish the test. It'll give me an error eventually. I'm going to go and try to visit a site again. So let's go to visit YouTube or Facebook or anything. It's not going to work. And you can see it still requests timeout. I'm still getting errors. I saw another one. And that's my microwave just finishing. And YouTube works. Let's go back to speed test. Oh, it's going back up again, slowly. And it's not going to do anything though. But yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. It's basically um, the interference at the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Um, you know, it potentially your appliances can cause to it, and how that can interfere with your internet speeds that, or your ability to even browse the internet. So if you're having a similar problem, I would highly recommend you look into a 5 gigahertz uh, a router that uses a 5 gigahertz band, uh, usually the dual band routers. And yeah, that's all. I hope you found this video useful. And if you liked um, the demonstration as well as, you know, the difference between the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of them that I covered in the video, please um, like the video. And if you have something to add, please comment. I would love to hear what you have to say on this matter. Um, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.